All right. My name is Omar, Omar the Plumber, from Harris Maintenance, LLC, Miami, Florida. Hey, I'm Robbie, Robbie the Plumber, from Miami. Hey, guys, my name is Nick Pond, Product Manager for Milwaukee Inspection Solutions. All right, so Nick, we've seen a couple, a couple of camera solution. Uh, so we want to kind of you dive yeah. into it, what we've seen today. Yeah, we've got uh, tons of tons of cool uh, innovations at Pipeline 2024 that we're highlighting uh, in our inspection category. So um, first things first, uh, we've had the M8, the line of M18 modular pipeline inspection systems out on the market for about three years now, and we've really um, expanded that offering to cover everything from small drain lines out to large sewer lines. Um, so we know, you know, image quality is really important, right, when it comes to uh, pipeline inspection. Um, so at Pipeline, we're introducing our next-gen camera heads. Uh, these camera heads provide, you know, the clearest image, right? We're using the industry's highest resolution HDR cameras, and this provides razor sharp clarity in the line, lets you see more detail uh, than you did with the previous generation. Yeah, I've seen that today out on the floor. It's a, a whole lot better than how it was before. I'm not saying it wasn't good, but it wasn't super clear. But now with the new heads, you could tell the major difference. Now, what had what made you guys come up with that with, from us? Yeah. People saying that they don't have the clearest image ever or? You know, we... we Promise the clearest image, and year over year, we have to continue to evaluate if we're living up to that. Um, so, you know, 1080p uh, cameras when we launched were, were great; they provided good quality uh, imaging. Uh, but we got to stay up to date, so we um, kind of leveled up our our image sensors um, just to help you guys. We know image quality means a lot to you. We know that you demand the best technology. So it's just looking at it year over year. How do we continue to improve uh, in order to make you guys most productive? Okay, so the camera heads that you guys have now, they're just easy to come off. Comes with uh, take it off, put it on, so everyone knows like it's not going to be. They have to turn bring in their camera to a facility to get maintenance. They could do it themselves. Yeah, that, that's an awesome point. We made it super simple um, from could, the get go. Because other competitors, you have to. You're, you, you're out of a camera for a minute. Yeah. 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 yeah for like at least thir- two, maybe a month or a month and a half. But with this idea, it's just taking off the head, putting you in this upgraded. Yep. Yeah. So so all of our cameras starting July 8th will mm-hmm. ship with the new camera heads. But anybody that out there that has a camera head, uh, it's as simple as unscrewing that from the end, screwing on your new one, uh, and then upgrading your firmware. And now you have the most uh, advanced next-gen camera heads on the market. So one thing on the firmware now, it's like a USB you're going to be putting inside of your hub to upgrade. Yep. Right? Yep. How long does that normally take? Oh, that takes just under a minute. Under a minute. So it's pretty simple. With that camera head, if you want to upgrade, screw on the camera head, insert the USB. Uh, you're going to go to the settings on either the app or on your monitor, and then install that firmware. It takes a minute, and you'll be up and running. And you also have another upgrade, which I've been waiting for for a minute is the the screen now that if you're on if you're doing a camera inspection on a roof or even on ground on floor level and it's a lot of sun sometimes you had that glare yeah. i know you guys did something you can you tell us about that yeah definitely um that's something that we saw you know it wasn't just you that was frustrated with that mm-hmm. um daylight readability on a monitor is is critical right it, it causes some frustrations we saw that in the field uh so moving forward our m18 monitor has an anti-reflective coating on it um, which not only improves the image quality, but eliminates all that that glare uh, when you're using it on the roof or, you know, at ground level anytime you're outdoors on a sunny day. So, mm, a lot better. Yeah. Okay. Now, one more thing that I think we all are excited for, guys that do a lot of drain cleaning camera inspections, is that you guys have the that self leveling that's with the camera head. Yeah. Tell us about that. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Uh, that is uh, called pitch sensing technology. So what that does is, um, when would pitch sensing be a benefit to you? Um, if you have a, a bad bad pitch in a pipe, a pipe uh, drain line has what? Uh, belly a belly in, in a it. A bad belly in it. Yeah. Easier to show the customer if they see it like, hey, your back pitch, you know, you know yeah. and you're not catching fall, you know? 
Yeah, so, so exactly that. We give you that uh, indicator on the screen, shows you uh, which way the camera's laying in the pipe. And like you said, that's going to, like you guys can spot a belly pipe uh, with or without that most likely, right? Yeah, yeah. But being it, able to explain that to the customer or the homeowner. Yeah, you know? it makes the customer kind of more believe, it's more believable even if you're in a standing water. Like, ah, I can't tell. I'm like, yeah, you're in water, you <laughs> yeah. you have a belly. <laughs> but with uh, with that now on, you could tell when you're fa- when you're falling and when you're not falling, when you're, you know, going, falling up. Yeah. So, so same thing, uh, moving forward, all of the M18 cameras will have that, and then existing users swap out that camera head, upgrade the firmware. Uh, not only do you have HDR, but you have pitch sensing. Okay, so quick question. Don't know if you know. I know this is kind of new. Now, when you're recording, is the pitch sensing going to be visible when you're sending that recording to your sharing it with your customer? Yep, yeah, definitely. Okay. That okay. will uh, be overlaid on the recording so that when you share that, or you text that or email that to them, however you guys communicate that. Um, it, they will see it also, and it will be technically the, the right the right, cor- right top corner. Yep, yep, you got it. All right, so one more exciting camera. I know you have two of the smaller ones that um, I think are the Ultra. Yeah, we've got uh, two new flexibility. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got High Flex and Ultra Flex. Flex, okay. Both of these are on our M12 system. So... Um, really delivering, really kind of rounding out our range uh, in the drain line applications. Uh, so now we have a full range of cameras across the M12 and M18 for one inch up to 10 inch sewer lines. Mm. Um, those M12 cameras, I mean, are going to be awesome in, in small diameter lines that are really bend heavy, lots of bends, shorter runs, uh, but also provide that, that portable productivity with the small footprint, you know, easy to transport type of solution and we know now that we did that uh test today at pipeline where it will go through the toilet and go through the trap but that would be your ultra thin rod yeah that was that was the ultra flex that was the ultra flex one yeah that, that was awesome yeah, yeah o- omar so, yeah. came in and put it to the test yeah. uh, uh, immediately so for anyone that don't know it does go through the trap it will make it down the toilet and that was a wall hung and they made it through all the way so it definitely would do it for a floor mount yeah yeah so that's going to save you uh, a lot of time removing fixtures, right? Yeah, because, yeah. I mean, people. some people might feel that it's not necessary to do that, but sometimes a, you might be at a customer's house, a kid drops a toy down the toilet. Last time me and Robbie were on one, customer dropped a, to- yeah, a toy in the toilet. We were able to retrieve it, but you have to run the camera to see to make sure you got everything, you know? Yeah. Sometimes you're hoping that it falls in the main, and then we could try to just push it out. Because, yeah. you know, at that point, you can't really get it back unless you have a spring grabber to, to and you're taking off the toilet. But sometimes you just want to make sure that customer is fully clear. Now, with this new option of camera, that, that's going to be awesome. Cool. Yeah. 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 And so, and also, you guys have a pack out one a little bit. So we do. A little yeah. bit about how is that one? Uh, the pa- the pack out camera is a really unique solution that's really designed for. Um, uh, somebody that wants to do uh, just basically a diagnostic inspection. Like facility maintenance people, maintenance guys that it does for for that facility, I'm guessing? Exactly, Because yeah. I noticed now the SON, that, that does not have location. That does not have, have location, location. But it get, does have a distance counter to give you a little bit of an understanding of where, where you're at. Where you're at. Um, kind of gets like straight to the point camera for that guy that's going to call a plumbing, could find, hey, this is here. Let me call a plumbing company. This is what we have on our camera. And then now we, you know. Yeah, that that's it. That's what we we're going for. Uh, really, that facilities maintenance MRO user who mm-hmm. just needs to get a look inside the line and understand understand what's going on. Okay. Um, and then delivering it on the packout system uh, is is really a nice benefit there, right? And like, locking in. Yeah, locking into the, your rolling packout so you can take that on and off the job really easily, along with all the other tools that you need for the day. So. And that one there, you cannot change the lens. That's kind of, you cannot change the lens on that one. That is like kind of sub, like compact. It is what it what it is. Exactly. Yep. Yep. It does have uh, the the built-in uh, fold-up display. So yeah, I seen when you open it, you could still like take it out. You could still clean and everything like that. But it's like compact, and that's yeah, yeah. It's it's instant setup. Uh, you know, a lot of a lot of uh, facilities maintenance, for example, you're you're acting in a hurry. There's an emergency. Uh, you need to uh, get across the property and understand what's going on. So it's got that screen built into it. Flip it up, 
uh, and you're ready to go. It's got 75 feet of uh, push cable on it. Oh, that's a good amount. Yeah. Uh, really, really designed for those smaller drain lines. Drain lines. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I did see you could um, zoom in into the, the pack out camera. Yeah. That's, yeah. So how's that? Like, you know, what made you put that in into that camera? Yeah. Um, it, that's a good question. Uh, we saw a lot of users that are using iPads or mm -hmm. their phone. It's a pretty good experience. It's easy to use. I think we're all used to uh, those kind of interactions with a screen, right? Being able mm -hmm. to pinch, zoom, rotate. Um, you know, uh, touch screen is kind of just where we're at and what we expect on a product like that. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what we did there is we just wanted to provide a real simple, easy to use experience that someone who maybe doesn't have experience using an inspection camera can just jump right into and, and open it up going. and be yeah. easy. Yeah. Yeah. Very, I'm very happy with the cameras, with all the cameras today, with those two. I mean, they're pretty nice. No complaints. And I love that you could add on those new lens now to upgrade. Yeah. And now it's all the new cameras that are coming out will have that upgrade already. So they don't have to switch out. It's only the older ones it, that you have to. Exactly. Yep. And and which which cameras are you using today? Um, what we normally use is what a hundred and um a hundred and twenty. Yeah. Two hundred stiff, st mid stiff, the mid stiff. The mid stiff. Yeah. Two hundred feet and the one twenty. That's the main, you know. Yeah. Especially if we have a long run and we're on the roof, that mid stiff helps because you're it losing push. push. You know, not if you're down. You know, in in a customer's home, you remove the toilet, you're right there on the floor, so you have that push capability. Yeah, and you were talking to me a little bit earlier when we were looking at the push cable stiffnesses. You made a comment about how you like how uh, how rigid that mid stiff is, and it lets you yeah. push out. Good yeah, distance. lets you push. Yeah, I, mean, I think we have pushed out before, probably like 175 feet. Yeah, and then of course we stop to locate a clean out. We'll bring it back, and then that where we stop to locate the clean out, open it up, and that's when we start continuing the camera inspection. Okay. You know, you go out that far when you're trying to just find a good area where you could expose and create a clean out if there's not one there. Sure. And if, you know, from that point. I don't know how you feel on the med stiff when you use it. I, I like it because yeah. the pushability, because some of them you won't get that push, you know. But, you know, that rod, you get the push and it works for us, especially when we're on the roof. Nice. And it Especially. bends up too, yeah. you know, like the other brands too. Like you try to push, and then it's like you can't go no more. That's it. It's probably it's a like stopping a, point. Like like one thirty, and we know we could go out a lot more. So the extra thirty feet that really does it help a, a yeah. whole lot. At least to get you out of the house into like a grassy area, driveway, wherever you could show the customer, okay, we're here. We could ex go ahead and start exposing and install a clean out. Then we could camera inspect the rest of the, the line going out to the city. Nice. Now you mentioned uh, locating. Are you using the uh, M12 pipeline locator? And yeah. What, yes. what do you think about that? It's accurate. Accurate. Accurate to the money. Well, he loves it. It's a lot more user friendly because yeah. the other one you have to use like the equator and all of this stuff. This one here, I just tell him like, as long as you get that 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 bean, yeah. just get that yeah. <laughs> that looks like a <laughs> bean right there on the X, then you're good to go. Yeah. Nice. Colorful yeah. too. I mean that's. Um, Another good yeah. example, being yeah. able to see it in daylight, right? Yes. Like, yeah. Nighttime, too. Yeah. I mean, even though the others have that green, I think, illuminated backlight, it's still hard to see, and especially in the sun. Yeah. But that one there, mm -mm. good. It's, the quality is great. Awesome. Yeah. Let's talk about, uh, okay. you mentioned earlier uh, servicing cameras, mm -hmm. and you said one to two months downtime mm -hmm. without a camera. One to two months downtime without a camera. So a lot of the cameras, like if you... If you push your head in a broken line and then, and you break off the head, you don't have a head on your camera, it's in the drain line. So you bring <laughs> it back, you got to send it out to get repair. Yeah. And oh, I know for you, if a head does come off, you could easily screw it back on. Of course, not the whole piece, but. Yeah, you can, even the spring. If a spring gets uh, snagged in a line and gets stretched out, mm -hmm. you can unscrew that from the push rod. Wow, and, I didn't even, I learned that. I and, didn't know that. I thought and, you had well, to ship it out. Yeah. So, yeah, we tried to um, do everything that we can to keep it field serviceable. Mm. So, right, if you can avoid, we know that's a big headache. Cameras are your moneymaker, right? Yeah. So, um, it's, uh, we tried to do everything that we could to, uh, to make it serviceable in the field. 
Um, and then, you know, in terms of our factory service centers, we're committed to if you do have to put send it in for uh, retermination or um, repair the push cable, we're committed to turning that around in in three to four days maximum. Mm. So um, just another thing that I, I think Milwaukee's done a good job with uh, the inspection categories, making sure we're solving those frustrations that you guys face on the service side too. So let me ask you this, since all this new stuff, what's next you think you you guys want to create for a camera? I know you can't speak heavy on it, <laughs> or it might be a secret, but what's a hint you could give? Yeah. What's next? Yeah, um, I, you know, that's a great question. Um, we're constantly out in the field trying to uh, understand what frustrations are mm -hmm. still existing and how do we solve those. Um, I can't necessarily speak right now, but, uh, we, you know. They told me you could speak. <laughs> they said it. See? It, image, they, you it, could go? go image, image quality is something that we're constantly chasing, right? Mm -hmm. um, I think as, as the years go on, everybody's expectation of what good image quality is just continues to grow, right? We've seen it in TVs, phones, things like that. Um, you know, 1080p, 720p might not be uh, the resolution down the line. So I think we're going to always look at that. Um, but then also, um, you know, just continue to do research and, and be out in the field with you guys. That's where ideas come from. Those, make it better. Yeah, and just make it better. Keep on making it better. Um, but you, you know, we've got a philosophy at Milwaukee tool, never settle, always improving. So And always is disrupting. Always disrupt. Yeah, exactly. All right. Exactly. So. Well, you're, we're done with Sports Center. Ha, ha, ha.